Hey everyone, what's going on? Yoko here, and welcome to our one year anniversary for the channel! So for our anniversary, I thought I would go revisit something that we did at the very beginning, and that is Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Mario actually played this game for us the first time, but I'm playing it now and trying my luck at it. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why are you playing the same game again? Well, that's very easy to answer. Mario played a warp run. And while I usually play warp runs, I am doing this warpless. That means you will see every level except Minus World. That's its own separate thing that we may or may not cover eventually. Eh, we'll probably hit it at some point. Also, I grabbed the Invincibility Star so late there because it has this audio glitch where you're in the castle, the star's timer runs out, and it plays the original music for the level instead of the victory theme. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, we are celebrating our anniversary by revisiting where it all began with a run of Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES if you will, and not NES because that's objectively wrong. Also, I'm running this as Little Mario right now. I skipped that star in order to do some really gutsy stuff with that turtle shell. Also, there's a one-up up there, and you know, I need the life. I need the life. I don't play warpless runs very much. At all. In fact, I couldn't tell you the last time I did this warpless. I did not practice before we started, so there's gonna be some deaths here and there. You know, no big deal. But I got that one-up mushroom and a lot of backwards jumping. I'm gonna grab this just in case, and here's where the plot twist comes in. I'm going in the pipe instead of up above. So, we're not quite hitting uncharted territory here, but we're definitely hitting some territory that I don't often venture into. And with that, we beat World 1-2, and we're going into 1-3. And that explanation wrapped up perfectly, because we've already talked about 1-1 and 1-2 in the Mario run. You can see that in the top right in the descript... not the description, but the card thing above. Also, I just took that hit from the Goomba. I'll leave it up to you to decide if I meant to do that or not. I totally didn't! What? Shut up, voice from nowhere! Continuing on, I have a mushroom now. And I'm skipping coins kind of at random because, you know, we're not doing a 100% pick up all the coins run. That would be ridiculous. We'd be here all day. And you guys have things to do. I have things to do. I've got more parts to record, so we're not going to do that. 1-4, the castle. Now, you may not know this if you're living under a rock and have never played Mario in your life and the only time you ever saw anything about this game was because you watched my Mario run of it. Link's in the card, go watch the thing even though the Mario voice is a little weird. He didn't quite have things under control yet. Oh, almost hit me, but he didn't. Yeah. My train of thought. So many trains, so much thought. Uh, basically, 2-1. Alright, and here we go. I don't remember <laughs> what my point was. So during editing, I'm going to watch this and I'm going to be like, Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. Okay, that's, that's fun. Meanwhile, since we're doing all levels, I can go up this beanstalk and show off a little bonus area that you don't usually get to see on a warp run. So that's fun, that's neat. Also, I really like the bonus area because it uses the invincibility theme, and I really like the invincibility theme because it sends me on a crazy power trip where all the power goes. I mean, it makes me temporarily immune to things. Yeah. Also, I got every coin there but one. I'm gonna say that's pretty good. Can you do better? Probably. Let me know in the comments. Also link me a video to it in the comments because I want to see it. Yeah, you have to show proof now. How about that? And with that, we beat 2-1 and we go on to 2-2. Two -two. Not the dancing 2-2. Two -two. But I mean, oh, I'm sure there's a mod out there somewhere. There's a lot of mods for this game. Also, just a little disclaimer. If my controls seem a little bit off or I seem a little bit wonky, I've gotten very used to Mario Maker, and Mario Maker Mario 1 physics are actually different than traditional Mario 1 physics. The games all use a slightly different physics set except for New Super Mario Brothers, which is what the other games kind of follow. It's really easy to get used to it. As such, there are some changes that aren't in more traditional ongoing Mario games that are present here. For instance, when you get an Invincibility Star and you ram into enemies' faces- I almost hit that fish. When you ram into enemies' faces, 
with an invincibility star, usually your points would multiply, and then after you hit 8,000 points, you'd start getting 1-ups for every enemy you hit. That's not the case here. Every enemy is worth its own default value, nothing more, nothing less. Also worth noting, and further on Mario games, whenever you jump on an enemy, if you're holding down that jump button, you can just spring back up for a nice boosted jump. Not really a boosted jump, but the same kind of jump that you'd normally get hitting the jump button outright. In this game, I believe how it works is you have to hit the button at the exact moment that you hit them in the head. So basically, you have to jump off their face instead of just holding it down. Otherwise, you're just going to get a little bounce. Also, this is why you don't speed run the flying fish level. You take your time. Don't be stupid like me. Don't do that. You know, unless you're competent and can actually accomplish that. Then have fun. Once again, link your video in the comment below. Let me see. Show me a screenshot or a GIF or something. So, there goes 2-3, going on to 2-4 now. You know, eventually. But first, the fireworks show. Also worth noting, Mario wanted to be here with me to celebrate- Not this Mario, the, the Mario that you see segments of. Wanted to be here with me to celebrate this anniversary, but unfortunately, guess who got kidnapped? I'll give you one guess. Spoilers, it's Peach. Okay, so we're off to a wonderful start here. I can just hear Mario somewhere going, Oh, Mamma Mia, why did you, why did you do that to? Or something. Sorry if my Mario impression isn't quite the same as the Mario whose segment you watch. Also, yeah, totally died there. That That's on me. I just, I slipped up. I thought the platform was gonna be there. It wasn't. Things happened. Things were said. It doesn't matter. Continuing on, getting past these fireball sticks or whatever we call them these days. And we're on top of the screen with the score. Yeah. And we're back down in the bottom with the peasants. Fun fact, if you go over the top of this thing, you can end up on the top screen. Also, I just got hit and hit the axe at the same time. That's fun. You can end up on the top screen during the Bowser fight. Now, you may not know this if you're living under a rock, but with Super Mario Bros. 1, you can't go backwards. Once you're to the right, you cannot go back to the left. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Also, that's what I was saying. I was saying something about in case you live under a rock and you only ever see my playthrough, then you might not know that every fourth level is a castle. And every castle has a Koopa or a Bowser, except they don't. Right now I'm trying to find a one up that sometimes spawns here, but not always. It didn't spawn here. So that's why I'm jumping around like an idiot. So every fourth level has a castle with kind of a Bowser. The first seven worlds have Bowsers in them, and I'll probably show this off at some point. I just didn't do it in this part, spoiler alert. These are enemies disguised as Bowser. They aren't actually Bowser himself. So, like, it could be a Goomba disguised as Bowser, or a Koopa Troopa. Also, I kind of wanted to show off the infinite one-up glitch there, but I've never really been able to pull it off. So I tried, I failed spectacularly, Mario ducked out of sadness, and we moved on. And a firework! So, you know, that makes things better, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I was saying earlier about the castles. Just, the last one has Bowser, the first seven do not, even though they look like him. Around World 6, I believe, they'll start to get harder, and you'll see that in the next part. Yes, this is a multi-part playthrough. Because, you know, you can't do a warpless run of Mario 1 in 15 minutes, guys. Give me a break. Work with me here. Even if I cut out these deaths and just had more, you know, gameplay that you cared about, also I got stuck there. I wouldn't be able to do that in 15 minutes. It's gonna take a little longer. Versus Mario's warpless run that took, like, 8 minutes? 8, 10, 10, 8, 8, something like that. It wasn't long. Definitely adds more time onto the game whenever you do everything. Also more fireworks. Six of them. Nice. Those are worth points, and they're just really cool. It has to do with the amount of coins you get and the timer. I believe how it works is I had six coins when I finished the level. My timer must have ended in a six as well, I assume? And so I got six fireworks. And I've done that, I think, three levels in a row, excluding the castle, because it's impossible there. So that's fun. Also, get ready for this, because I'm about to mess up. Just kidding. Had you go in there, you should have seen the look on your face. 
And we beat 3-3 and we're going on to 3-4 with another Imposter Bowser. There's more fireworks. I didn't even notice when I was recording that that happened. Okay, my coins did not end in 6, but I got 6 fireworks. But my score, the last number that wasn't a 0, was a 6. So maybe it's tied to time and score. Maybe. Who knows? I would say editing me should look for that, but editing me is not going to remember to do that. And around this point, editing me is going to be like, ah, crap baskets. And then Anioko is going to say something about that as well. Yep, there it is. You and your sass. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. And yet I'm in seven of them. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard I try. And welcome back to 4-1, where things start to make sense for me for a little bit. Because on a warp run, you go to 4-1. So, everything makes sense here. Except this! There should be, above that third block, there should have been a 1-up spawning. But it didn't. It always spawns on the warp run. I believe how it works is you either get it on 3-1 or 4-1 when you're doing a warpless run. But you don't get both. Except I didn't get either. So, there must be some value to it that I'm not aware of. I, I'm not sure. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... And then I just kind of gave up on it and left. I should have hit it one more time. It bothers me too, guys. But, you know, you got to keep the show going. Got to keep things rolling. Also, no fireworks here. There goes my streak. I've disappointed you both, you and your mother. Or is it my mother? I, I don't know. It's probably not important. Anyway, 4-2. Where things stop making sense. Because, you know, I just slid through a brick. You know, flawless logic and physics there, guys. Flawless logic and physics. I'm waiting for the timing here to hit the beanstalk because I've kind of gone to autopilot, realized that I don't need the beanstalk, and continue going. Hey, look, I'm on top of the score again. That's fun. And yeah, I guess technically I'm skipping over things, but it doesn't really matter because there wasn't really much there. Maybe like three enemies. Okay, this. This. Okay. I should have jumped about right here. But I didn't, and I was about to jump. And the platform, as soon as it goes off screen, completely despawns. It doesn't just stop. It doesn't keep going. It despawns completely. So instead of having a second like I should have, if physics were actually a thing here, I just fell to my death. Yeah, no. No big deal. Also, I'm not taking the top path this time because of a very specific reason. I forgot that I didn't need to hit be on the bottom. So now I'm just waiting. Here, though, you don't want to keep taking the top path, because there's not a way back down. You jump over this pipe, which, trust me, as a child, just irritated me. It was hard timing, but if you keep going to the right, I think how it works is you hit a warp pipe that takes you to World 5. We're doing warpless. I don't want to do that. And even if I did, it's only World 5. It's going to skip two levels. Woohoo. Big deal. And I'm showing all these bad boys off. So let's continue. For 3... With mushroom platforms that we saw in 1-3 all over again. Also, that's the other thing I just noticed. The turtle shells. If you hit them into coins, it doesn't pick up the coins. In future Mario titles, that's how it works. Here, it does not. But first, more mushrooms. And no, I can't eat these mushrooms. It's ridiculous. And here's where I realize I messed up. I can't make this jump. If I had had more of a running start, I probably could have ducked between the crack, which is what I was trying to do there. It didn't quite work for me. Or if I was small. If I was small like I am now, I would have no problem doing exactly what I wanted to do. Because I just, I would have had that time, I would have had that faith that I would make it, that would have been the big killing thing there. Also, around now, Mario's just like, eh, I'm gonna stand on the brick. My, my flag, my flag. He just grabs it and holds on tight. I, I just think it's kind of cute, it's kind of adorable. And now, 4-4, four, four, the level you've all been waiting for. Another castle. But which way will I take? Find out next time on this anniversary edition playthrough of Super Mario Brothers for our channel. And guys, real quick, thank you for watching us. Thank you for hanging out and playing games with us. It's been great having you here for this past year. I hope you guys stick around. I hope we grow and expand and become so much more than we already are. And I would love that because that means I can do more content for you guys and I would love to do that. But for now, We'll see you at the start of next part. Do the like, comment, subscribe, YouTubing thing. You know what to do. Share your, with your friends. Tell them that this idiot's playing Mario and he's celebrating an anniversary. Or don't. That's cool, too. 
But either way, I'll see you guys at the start of the next video. We'll catch you later. Bye.